Hello everyone! Welcome once again to Philo Notes for another edition of our daily whiteboard. This is our second day specifically discussing symbolizing propositions in symbolic logic. Now without further ado, let's symbolize another sample proposition here. Suppose we have this proposition. If either the butler or the maid is telling the truth, then the job was an inside one. However, if the lie detector is accurate, then both the butler and the maid are telling the truth. P. Q. R. S. This example is quite a complicated one, but it can be easily symbolized if we have mastered the fundamentals in symbolic logic. Now, if we analyze the proposition, it becomes clear that it is a conjunctive proposition whose conjuncts are both conditional propositions with a component inclusive disjunction and conjunction respectively. So, if we let P stand for the butler is telling the truth, Q for the maid is telling the truth, R for the job was an inside one, and S for the lie detector is accurate, then we initially come up with the following symbol. P or Q, then R and S, then P and Q. This symbol, however, is not yet complete. In fact, it remains very complicated, and so we have to punctuate it. Now, since this example is a conjunctive proposition with a major connective word, however, then we have to punctuate the component conjuncts. Thus, we initially come up with the following symbol. However, this symbolized form of the proposition remains complicated because the component conjuncts have not been properly punctuated. And as I already said, there should only be one major connective in a proposition. And so, let us punctuate the first conjunct. Since it is stated in the first conjunct that the proposition is a conditional proposition whose antecedent is an inclusive disjunction, then we have to punctuate P or Q. Thus, we initially come up with the following symbol. Then next, let us punctuate the second conjunct. Since it is stated in the second conjunct that the proposition is a conditional proposition whose consequent is a conjunctive proposition, then we have to punctuate P and Q. Thus, we come up with the following symbol. Now, the symbol appears to be complete. Thus, the final symbol of the proposition, if either the butler or the maid is telling the truth, then the job was an inside one. However, if the lie detector is accurate, then both the butler and the maid are telling the truth is as follows. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes as we try to make the understanding of philosophy incredibly easy. Keep looking forward to our series of editions on the topic symbolic logic. And I hope you find this material helpful. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.